Good day, Kabaro. Good day, guys. This is our deck cargo crane. It is used to load and discharge the cargo of the vessel. On this video, we will carry out tracking tests as part of three monthly safety inspection of our deck cranes. Racking test of deck crane is carried out to measure the wear down of sleeve bearing on the deck cranes by measuring the play relative movement between the inner and outer bearing rays. These wear measurements will guide us if we can still use the crane or not to avoid any accident. Record of this test is being inspected by classification society or cargo surveyor and very strict ports. Slowing is the movement of the crane in rotational direction and it is driven by the hydraulic slowing gear motor. Slowing gear bearing is located on this middle part of the crane and we are going to measure the wear clearances. Did you know that when I was third engineer, our deck crane was cut on this middle part and fall down on the cargo hold. Luckily, nobody died. That's the reason why third party inspectors are inspecting this wear down record of the cranes. Before we proceed to our video, please like, share, and click follow button on our Facebook and YouTube channel. This is Chief Engineer Elrich. So good day guys, this is the MacRigor service manual here in my computer and this is the procedure on how to take the racking test on our MacRigor crane. So as you can see, this is the crane. So this is the jig of the crane and as per manual, this is the position of jig maximum outreach. The hook is on empty hook, the hook is on the upper part. So, MacRigor says that when the jib is on this uh, position, so as can you see, this is the uh, cabin of the crane. So, when the jib is on this position, on this side, this is the measurement A. And on the back, this is the measurement B. So, this is the gear inside the crane or the in the slowing part of the crane this is the gear going here this is the uh, turntable of the crane so from this part of the gear going here on the turntable that's how we measure the clearance of our slowing bearing so this is the measurement B on the aft side in the forward side that is the Measurement A. So we have to go down. And this one is measurement C. In measurement C, as per MacRegor, the position of the crane is on the minimum outreach empty hook. Uh, as per MacRegor, in minimum outreach position, the jib is on the vertical side and the hosting wire and the hook is on the level part of the slowing bearing during the minimum outreach position we have to make a measurement C as per MacRigor measurement C is only measured at the back of the crane so meaning to say we cannot we will not measure on this forward side only the back side that is the measurement C as can you see on the manual so on the part of the crane there is a machine surface on this part on the forward and aft this is already machine part or already shiny on this part of the table of this crane so as can you see the reference point is here on this side and on this side So, we, before we carry out a uh, measurement, we have to put a uh, markings or reference point A and reference and reference B and C. So, this is how you measure the slowing bearing clearance. So, this is the uh, day cracking test results that we carried out on this vessel. As per MacRigor, if B minus C is equals to 0 or negative, the measurement is wrong. 
If B minus A is greater than 7mm, the crane must not be used. So, if the measurement of B minus A is greater than 7mm, meaning to say the bearing clearance of our slowing is already at large. So, we cannot use the crane because it is dangerous. It is very dangerous because it might be fall down on the uh, deck or on the cargo hold if we use that uh, kind of clearance on the slowing gear. So this is the play of B minus C and jib direction, forward, starboard, aft, and uh, port side. So that is the four direction that we have to measure. A, B, C, uh, forward, starboard, aft, and port side. The first thing that we are going to do is giving instructions to our crane operator which is able-bodied seaman. We have to instruct him what are the positions that we are going to measure, jib positions and hosting wire positions, so that our inspections will be carried out in smooth operations. We will use handheld radio between the operator and the person who is in charge to take measurements for easy transition of the job. The second procedure that we will do is to mark the turntable of the crane where we can see the machine part or shiny part. According to MacGregor, when the jib is in forward part of the vessel, that is measurement A. And at the back of it, it is measurement B and C. Regardless with the jib possession, either it is in forward or off part of the vessel, we can start to measure the clearances. Example, if the jib of the crane is rested in off position, we don't need to turn it in forward part to start the measurements. We can start right away on that positions for quick completion of the job. We start in forward directions, which G position is maximum outreach at 45 degrees angle. After the jib is on position, we will start to measure A and B clearances and record. We break up and you slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you out, but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that Oh, keep telling myself that I should let go But I hold on And oh, keep telling myself that I should move on But I don't Cause we got that mad love We got that sad Then we will move the jib to minimum outreach position and measure C clearances. C clearance is in B position but the only difference is that the jib is in vertical position or minimum outreach position. direction is completed, we will proceed to next jib directions which is starboard side. Regardless with the directions, you can go in port side also. It depends on which part is more convenient to you. Since the jib is in minimum outreach position, we can turn the crane and proceed to sea clearance measurement so that we can make this job in faster way. When the jib arrives in starboard directions, we will start to measure sea clearance and record. we will move the jib in maximum outreach direction. Measure A and B clearances.
we miss sure the starboard side direction, we will turn again the crane to aft direction while the jib is in maximum outreach position. Now that the crane is in aft direction with jib in maximum outreach position, we will miss your A and B bearing clearances. Then we will move the jib in minimum outreach position to miss your C B ring clearance. That love, we got that sad love, we got that fun. Now we need home. Young love, you're the dumb love. We got that mad love, we got that sad. After we miss your aft direction, we will move the crane to port side direction. Now that the crane is in port side direction, with jib in minimum outreach position, we will start to measure C bearing clearance. Then we will move the jib to maximum outreach clearance to measure the A and B bearing clearances. We break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you out but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that Oh, keep telling myself that I should let go But I hold on And oh, keep telling myself that I should move on so that's the end of our measurement guys. We will make an assessment and computation after our measurements if the cranes are still safe for any cargo operations. In our crane, the clearances are very small and safe to operate. That's all guys, I hope that you learned something on this video. Please like, share and follow my Facebook and YouTube channel. This is Chief Engineer Elrets, keep safe and God bless. Bye bye, God bless. But, but we got that mad love We got that sad love